to hi everyone welcome back to my channel share and all this video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to enable hypervisor manager in windows 11 you have three ways to enable microsoft windows hypervisor manager hypervisor is a microsoft owned windows hypervisor platform that allows users to run virtual machine with high performance hypervisor manager can be enabled in many ways including using the windows 11 control panel command prompt powershell or using the deployment email servicing and management tool however you need at least 4 gigabyte memory windows professional or higher edition with 64 bit installation for using hypervisor among its many applications you can enable windows features while the operating system is running that is what we are going to do so watch the video and subscribe to the channel okay also virtualization must be enabled in the bios to create a virtual machine to confirm it just right click on the taskbar and select the task manager then go to performance tab and find whether it is enabled or disabled if your virtualization is disabled you need to reboot into the bios and enable virtualization you have video link in the description box below about it how to enable virtualization technology okay let's start step number one enable hypervisor using powershell and dism command the deployment email servicing and management tool helps you to configure and enable hypervisor okay to do that uh, right click on the start button then choose windows powershell admin on the powershell run the following command type the command dism space forward slash online space forward slash enable dash feature space feature name column microsoft dash hyper dash v space dash all space forward slash limit access space forward slash all and hit enter once executed this command when the installation has been completed then you should see the message operation completed successfully then reboot your pc after your computer restarts then you can turn on hypervisor from program and features step number two enable hypervisor using command prompt and dism command to enable the hypervisor using dism command open the search box by pressing windows logo key plus q then type cmd in the search result you will see command prompt then you choose run as administrator on the command prompt window type the following command dism space forward slash online space forward slash enable dash future space forward slash all space forward slash future name column microsoft dash hyper dash v and hit enter you can copy and paste all commands from the description box below. When the installation has been completed, then you should see the message operation completed successfully. Then reboot your PC. After your computer restarts, you can turn on hypervisor from program and features. Next is step number three, enable hypervisor through Windows feature settings. Open the search box by pressing Windows logo key plus Q. On the search field type Hyper-V in the search results you will see turn windows features on or off then select the turn windows feature on or off then you will see this kind of window turn windows features on or off here we need to turn on hypervisor features to do that select all Hyper-V tools and click OK this process will take a couple of minutes to complete when the installation has been completed you are prompted to restart your computer reboot your pc after your computer restarts you can find hypervisor automatically installed and you can search for it in the search box it will be called hyper v manager now windows hypervisor platform allows to run virtual machine with high performance that's it you are done i hope this video helped for you thanks for watching and supporting if you have any issues so please let me know in the comment section below your contribution is more confidence please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more useful videos once again thanks for watching and supporting see you next video bye take care